Hey guys, it's Psycho here, and I'm going to bring you yet another extremely easy tutorial in Photoshop. Now, as you can see here, if you've already started reading, QB has asked how I make the line which I use in my signature. Uh, as said, it's extremely easy, and I'm actually surprised that someone hasn't figured it out already. But, yeah, so let's just get started. I'm not going to waste time. Create a new composition. I don't know why I call it like that. White background doesn't matter if you do it white, black, transparent. Double click, make your layer editable. Come on, hurry up. Okay, now once you've got that, create a new layer and uh, zoom in. Then all you have to do is press M, get your selection tool. Make sure it's on selection, uh, new selection got the hiccups again, sorry for that. Got a bad habit. And then all you have to do is, that might actually not be f good enough, zoom in a bit more. If it's not thin, there you go, one pixel. Once you're able to select one pixel on the length that you uh, that you need, uh, just simply press G to get your gradient tool and make sure you're using foreground to transparent. Set the foreground color to whatever you want uh, it's up to you. I'm just going to use black for the sake of this video. And once you've selected it, make sure you're on your layer. Hold down shift, drag and drop, and there you go. That's all that needs to be done. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out quickly. As you can see, the line is extremely thin, just like on the one I did, which is basically just simply one, um, one pixel. Uh, so to do the other side, nothing really complicated. Duplicate the layer, uh, not delete, no. Duplicate. On the duplicated layer, edit, transform, rotate 180. Then of course you'll have to get, get your selection tool, move it over to align it. And uh, basically, oh, what's happened? There you go. That's it. Uh, you might actually have the little bug that I just saw, which introverts the selection. Um, nothing bad. So, there you go. Hope it helped. Uh, if you want to not fiddle around with the lines, just delete the background layer that you made. Merge visible. And there you go, you've got one layer that you can move around, place wherever you want. And there. So if anyone has other questions on tutorials and stuff like that, please ask. Uh, I'm open to make a tutorial if I know how to do it. If I don't know how to do it, I'll have a little quick search, try to figure it out on my own, like I like to do. And I'll post the result as soon as possible. So have fun and see you next time. Bye guys.